Hi everyone, welcome to HTML Tutorials for Beginners course. Today in this video lesson, we will learn how to add background image in HTML file. Here is the demo page and you can see a background image of a nice city. And we will just add background image in our HTML file in the same way. And here goes my website and here goes the code of a simple HTML file. Okay friends, now open up your favorite browser. I like Google Chrome and favorite text editor. I like both Notepad++ and Sublime Text 3. You can install and use any of these. Okay, and here goes the project. Here you can see several HTML files and images. This is the demo page. And I will work on it just on home. Okay, to open this HTML file, what you will have to do just right click on it and here you can see edit with notepad plus plus or open with any other program like sublime text i guess you are using windows machine but if you are on mac doesn't matter just all the process will be a bit different but you can do it i'm going to click on sublime text and here you can see and if i click on this page it will open up okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to just uh, resize this browser window and i'm i would like to place it side by side okay so you can see now the code and the preview at the same time i like it okay let me resize it that's great in the last video, I actually showed how to insert an image and I'm going to remove this code and save this space. Press Ctrl S to save the file and I'm going to reload this page. And here you can see this is the very basic page and we are going to add a background image here. We can add background image in HTML file in two ways. We can add the background attribute inside this body tag or we can use internal style sheet inside this header tag. Well, I will show you the both ways, but firstly start with the background attribute. Here you can see body tag. I'm going to put the cursor here and on the space bar, I'm going to hit the space bar to make some space and I'm going to write background. Okay, and my editor, Sublime text, just auto completed some code. Don't worry, you will get it. Just uh, here inside this double quotation, you will write the name and type of the image, the extension of the image. Here you can see the image is wrote. And if I hover over here, you can see it's a JPG file. So uh, just, and one thing you should note that the both the file and the image are in the same directory okay here goes the file home and here goes the image they are on the same directory okay so i'm going to name road this is the name of the image here you can see and dot jpg this is the extension of the image i'm going to save the file just control s for windows okay open up the browser here it is. I'm going to click on this button to reload it. And you can see this is the background image. Okay, pretty nice. Okay, friends, this image is large, so it fits the screen very nicely. What about the image is small or portrait image? Okay, I will do that of course in the second method so using this method you can add background image in your html file okay now i'm going to remove it and i'm going to show the second step that is using internal style sheet inside this header tag i'm going to type i'm going to click here to remove it okay again here i'm gonna type style 
tag. Okay. And inside here, I'm going to write body. This is the HTML tag. I have targeted this HTML tag because I will add the background image inside the body or the whole document. Okay, that's why I have targeted body tag. And this is the open curly brace and this is the closing curly brace. And I will write the CSS code inside this curly braces. And firstly, I'm going to write a CSS property and that is background image. Background image. And now I'm going to type URL. And inside the URL, I'll have to show or just type the URL of the image. And here you can see my image and the file are in the same location. So I'll have to just write the image name and the extension road.jpg. Reload this page again and it shows the background image. So friends, this is another way method. And now I'm going to insert a small image or set a background as a small image. Here you can see small bar. Okay, just uh, change the name here. Control S and reload. Is small bard. Small bard. Okay, here is the mistake. Again, I'm going to reload this page and you can see bird. And surprisingly, you can see many birds. Okay. Because that image is, is a small. And to cover the background, it repeated three times. So firstly, what I'll have to do is stop the repeat, repeat uh, feature of background image. So I'm going to type another property that is background repeat, background repeat. Here it is. And I'm going to say it, no repeat. Control S. And again, reload this page. And here you can see the repeat is stopped. So now there is empty space so i would like to what should i say just cover this whole area with this background image so what i'll have to do i'm going to type another property background size and that should be cover if i use cover that will automatically fit the whole area that's it Well, if you would like to insert any image from different directories, uh, like another folder, in that case, say for example, here you can see another folder that is images and here goes cow and bird. So I would like to insert cow and in that case, you will have to, you can see it is in another directory. So Firstly, you'll have to write the name of the directory, images, and forward slash, and the name of the image. The name of the image is cow. Again, open up the browser. Reload this page. Here goes our cow. Okay, so friends, just a quick recap. I showed you how you can set background image in your HTML document using body attribute, attribute HTML attribute inside body tag. And I showed you another method that is using internal style sheet. And here goes that you will have to write the style tag inside the header tag. And that's all.
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button. Hope to see you again with another new video. Thank you.